So in this video I'm going to show you how to do some text wrapping around an image. So at the moment on my page I've got a block of text but I want to place an image in this text and then I want the text to wrap around the image. So I'm just going to go and grab an image. So to do that I'm going to do Control or Command D to place. That brings up the import dialog box. I'm just going to select an image and then I'm just going to click out and drag the size of the image that I want. So something like that will do. Okay, now what you can't do is you can't just grab that image and then just place it into your text. It just sits on top of it rather than being in with the text. So what you need to do is you need to do Command or Control X, which is to cut that image. Then get your type tool. I'm going to click here just in front of that W there. So I've clicked inside my text and then I'm going to do Command or Control V, which is to paste the image. The image now sits inside of the text. Now we need it to wrap though, so that the text wraps around the image. And to do that, you'll need to open up your wrap panel window, which is over here on the right hand side for me. If you can't see it, you'll need to go to the window menu. Opening up the wrap panel window and having my image selected allows me to choose different kinds of wrapping options. Now I'm looking for this one here, where I want the text to wrap around the right hand side of the image. So I'm gonna click on that, and it automatically places the images over, image over to the left and wraps the text around the right hand side. You could do it on the other side if you wanted to by simply choosing the other option here. I'm going to go back to this one and then this is where these offsets come in. So at the moment the text is too close to the image, in other words it's touching the image itself and we need a bit of a space, a bit of gap around this. So if I was to increase one of these you'll see that all four change at the same time and that's because of this little chain link here. So I'm just going to put that back down to zero, break the chain link, and then I want the text to move away on the right hand side of the image. So I'm going to use this offset here to push that text away and create a bit of a gap. And I want a bit of a space at the top as well, so I'm just going to push that down like that. And that is a nice simple way for you to create text wrap around your images.